Hey guys, this is APF Q Tech right here. I just got hold of the Halo 4 limited edition Xbox 360 controller. I just got this at Best Buy uh, for $20 off. Uh, your mileage may vary. It really depends on which store you're at. Um, so I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the controller and show you what's inside. I mean, it's pretty standard. You probably see an unboxing like unboxings like these, you know, with Xbox 360 controllers. There's nothing really new. But um, this is actually based on the Xbox 360 Silver Wireless Controller, which has a new customized D-pad, which, which transforms from a plus to a disc. Um, and also some other new features includes um, a new LED in the middle, which glows blue. So um, I'll just be showing that also. So let's unbox this. I already moved the seal, so that way... Nobody has to watch me painstakingly trying to open the seal for like one minute. Now this comes with a, with a downloadable code for an avatar item. It comes with a Halo 4 um, t-shirt, which isn't that bad, but um, I wish there was an in-game item though. This. Um, they've been doing a lot of marketing with the Halo 4 products, you know, almost every single Halo 4 product, including the Turtle Beaches, have um, downloadable code. So, the first look at the controller. Uh, as you can see, very, it's translucent, you can see right into it. Um, you can see right here the rumbles, right here. Um, you can see the whole um, motherboard for the controller. Here's the back. Now here you have the D-pad, it transforms, you press it, and I believe you turn it. So now you have the disc, press it again, turn, and you have a regular D-pad. So that's one nice thing. Another difference with the with this controller compared to the older controllers is that your analog sticks feel a little bit better, but you're missing the four notches that used to be on the analog sticks. There used to be one on the top, bottom, left, and right for each of them. Now I'm going to show you my other controller which I got during uh, release for Halo Reach. This is the Halo Reach Xbox 360 Limited Edition controller. Uh, you can probably barely see the notches right over here. Um, you see there's one on the top, one on the bottom, one on the left and right, you know, which provides for added grip, you know, when playing. Um, I, even without it, I believe, you know, the fingers should not slip from the controller, you know, they probably wouldn't. But um, and with those, you know, that have a problem, you know, gripping the thumbsticks, you know, uh, you might have to get one of those uh, covers that go on top of it. Um, the X, Y, A, B buttons look the same. Um, as typical, you know, the newer controllers have a silver uh, chrome-like uh, menu button right here. The older controllers from before the release of the new Slim Xbox had a more uh, brushed nickel finish over here, even though it's plastic, but um, that's how it used to look. Um, as you can see the design from 343 Industries, the UNSC, with the eagle, the emblem over here. Um, sorry, apologize, it's the phone. Um, and, what else? There's nothing else new about this. Um, your left and right bumpers are still the same, left and right triggers are also the same. <laughs> Um, nothing really major except for the D-pad, the design, and the blue flashing LED. Um, let me just pop in the batteries. So this comes with Duracell batteries, as usual. Um, and the code for the Halo 4 Avatar t-shirt. Um, not that I care about this, I'll probably be giving this away also. Um, so if you want to get this, you know, just comment, I'll just choose one of you guys randomly. Um, so yeah, let's put this on the side, Con manuals, warranties, um, other than that. Matter. Um, so I'm just going to pop these open and just show you, you know, just how the LED looks like, you know, it's pretty cool, you know. Um, the Xbox 360 Halo 4 limited edition console actually has, uh, two controllers, a different design, but very similar look to, um, this controller right here, but very different. Um, it also lights up in the middle with a blue LED, so let me press it. As you can see, it lights up blue, which looks cool, you know, also. And also, it looks nice a little bit because um, 
you can see right through it flashing and everything. It just provides for the added, you know, look, especially when you're playing in the dark. But I believe, you know, there's a few other, you know, third party manufacturers, they make controllers which light up for the Xbox 360 and you got Halo 4 in the back uh, on the bottom right here, which I didn't see. Um so yeah, let's pop it up. So that's about it. I mean there's nothing really you compared to, you know, other controllers except for the design and the blue LED. And you know, it's nice that Microsoft added, you know, the interchangeable D pad which can just, you know, switches from a plus to a disc. Um and that's about it. Um just comment, subscribe and uh, stay tuned. I'll be posting more videos later. Uh, I'll be also posting a video on the Black Ops 2 limited edition unboxing when that releases on the 13th. Alright, see you guys.